Hey, what's up guys? Tactorials here. So, not everyone has the money to get the latest and greatest phones like the iPhone 7 or the Google Pixel. But that doesn't mean that you cannot have a great phone experience with the money you have right now. So here are 5 good phones and bu budget friendly phones that I recommend ranging from $100 to $400 to suit your budget needs. Let's go! So the first phone on this list is the Blue R1 HD. This phone is a great phone for $100 and it's the cheapest one on this list. It has a 5 inch display with 720p resolution which is almost 300 ppi so the words and text will be pretty sharp. It's also protected by a Gorilla Glass 3 so it will be free from scratches. Anyways this phone is powered by a MT6735 MediaTek chip which is a quad core um, clocked at 1.3 GHz. It has a Mali T720 GPU and all of this is running on Android 6.0 which is not bad for a budget phone. Anyways, this phone has 8 gigs of internal storage and 1 gig of RAM but I suggest that you upgrade it to the 16 gig variant and 2 gigs of RAM just for $10 more. For $10 more, you'll get a greater multitasking experience and you can store more games and apps compared to the 8 gig and 1 gig RAM variant. So anyways, um, this is a, all in all, this is a great phone for $100 but just rem remember that this phone is a budget phone so you cannot expect too much from it, you cannot expect too much performance but all in all, it's still a great phone for this price. So the second phone on this list is the Moto G4 Play. Moto G4 Play is a great phone for $150 and it's also a 5 inch screen at 720p so it's the same as the previous phone. It runs the Snapdragon 410 and the Adreno 306, both are quite old chip and uh, CPU and GPUs but however, they perform pretty well at this price. It is a quad core uh, chip at 1.2 GHz. Anyways, it has 16 GB of internal storage so it's quite good for a cheap phone and 2 GB of RAM, same as the Blue R1 HD. Um, I recommend you getting this phone if you want to get the latest and greatest software as it is supported by uh, Motorola so it will get um, do good sooner or later. So this phone gives you the best stock Android experience at a cheap price. So the third phone on this list is the best performer for its price right now. It is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. It has a 5.5 screen size and a 1080p resolution so it has 400 ppi so everything you look on it will be really sharp. It has 3GB of RAM. It's powered by a Snapdragon 650 and has an Adreno 510 on top of it. All of this running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It also has 32GB of internal storage, a lot for, for $180 and 3GB of RAM, a lot for it as well. So this one really I highly recommend it. But the only downside or the benefit, it really depends on how you see it, is that it runs MIUI. So it's a like it or hate it situation, you like it. You hate it, personally I don't quite like it but of course you can install a 500 more on this um, phone. So the fourth phone on this list is actually the ZTE Axon 7. Even though it's not quite as cheap as the Redmi Note 3, but for $350 you're getting a lot more than you're supposed to get. It has a 5.5 inch screen at 1440p resolution which is 538 ppi and it has 4 gigs of RAM with a Snapdragon 820 with an Adreno 530 GPU, all running on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. With 64GB of internal storage, I don't think you'll ever run out that quickly. And with 4GB of RAM, multitasking on this phone is not really a problem. One thing I want to point out too is that this phone has a 20 megapixel camera with 1.8 aperture lens, which is quite good for a phone at this price. So the only complaint I have with this phone is that it's same as the previous phone. It doesn't run stock Android because I don't quite like um, like me favor UI so yeah that's the only pro problem I have with this phone other than that it really is a great phone for its price so the last phone on this list and the fifth one is a 430 phone and it is the OnePlus 3 it's not surprising that the OnePlus 3 is on this phone but honestly it really is a great phone and I have to recommend it to you if you have a budget of a $400 it is a 5.5 inch phone with 1080p so it's not as much as the Axon 7 but it's still really sharp at 401 ppi. It has 6GB of RAM which means you can multitask without having to run out of RAM. It has a Snapdragon 820 and an Adreno 530 which means performance on this phone will not be compromised compared to other flagship phones of much higher prices. 
It has 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which means you'll not run out of space very easily and just like the other the previous phone as well. So this is the phone I recommend because it runs nearly stock Android Oxygen OS and you'll be getting the latest and greatest uh, nougat in next year. So this is the best phone that you can get right now. So guys, this marks the end of my top 5 budget smartphones. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Like it if you like this. <coughs> this is my first time doing a top 5 list. Dislike it or comment or for some reason if you don't like it. Um, comment down below what you want next. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm in love with the cocoa.